Welcome to my video on how to watch a recorded webinar. This is Wendy Myers with Communication Solutions for Veterinarians. So when you're watching a recorded online class, what you'll do is first go to my website, which is csvets.com. You'll see here there is a link at the top that says webinar login. You'll go ahead and click on that. And this has your instructions here. Now our webinars are for the entire hospital team. So you'll see at the bottom of this page, there's a little gray box here that says add employees to your training group. We automatically enroll the person who purchased the webinar and then send them an email with instructions and a link to this page. So if the manager uh, clicks on this, you can easily see it pulls up an online form. All you have to do is enter your contact information and then each of the employees that you either want to add or remove into your hospital training group. When you're finished, you'll just click submit form at the bottom that will instantly send an email to me. And then as soon as I receive that um, the same day, I'll get your um, hospital team members enrolled and uh, send an email with the login instructions as well. So that's how you get people in your training group. But let's go back into logging into a recorded class. So as you'll see here, it, it has a description of how to access our recorded webinars. And what you'll do is it says click here to log in with your email and password. Now the instructions here explain that the very first time that you log in, you will enter the password of CSVETS. After you log in the first time, you will be prompted to change your password. So we're going to go in and click here to log in. This now takes us into Adobe Connect, which is our e-learning system. And I've set up a test email to show you how to log in as a uh, user. And what you'll do, once you enter your username or password, it then takes you into the e-learning system. You'll see there's a couple of tabs here. The only tab you need to use is the tab that says My Training, and that's ta the tab that um, immediately opened on my computer. So here you'll see these are the courses that I've enrolled in. And again, it's for my entire hospital team. So we're gonna look at the a course here that is 10 phone skills every receptionist should know. And you'll see that I've not yet taken this course. Over here underneath the column that says score, you'll see there's a little paper airplane icon. And when I hover over that with my mouse, you'll see that it says open. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on open. This now will load Adobe Connect uh, in onto um, my computer. Uh, it will make sure that you do have the latest version of Flash Player. So if it prompts you to download Adobe Flash Player, please do so it is a safe and secure link. So there are four items in each curriculum. You'll see here that there is the recorded webinar and your team does have unlimited ongoing playback of that. There's also a handout to download, an online test to take. You'll see that right now this test is locked because according to race CE rules, um, you must first watch the webinar before you can open and take the test. You'll see that the CE certificate also is locked. And there are two prerequisites for the CE certificate. You first have to watch the webinar, then pass the test, and then that will, item will become unlocked. So what we're going to do is start, and again, just in, in order here, uh, and open up the webinar. I do recommend that you um, download the handout, so let's do that first. I like to have printed notes in front of me. I'm a, a good note taker. So when I click on open on the handout, you'll see that it opens um, Adobe Reader, and this is a PDF that I can either uh, save to my computer or I can go ahead and print this. And you'll see that this handout, as I scroll through, it has all of the notes. In my handouts, all of the scripts are in italic type, so that's an easy way to spot those. And in the webinar, you'll see keywords and phrases in red on the slide, so you may want to just circle or highlight as you're looking at your notes. And you can see for this class, I'm just scrolling down quickly through. There's lots of pages here of notes that I've already prepared for you. So it looks like there's about 10 pages of notes. So you can just download that. So we'll go ahead and close out the handout. And then let's go ahead and open up the webinar. So when you click, click on the webinar, it will open a new screen. You'll see that this screen is a little small and I wanna make it bigger. So I'm just going to uh, move it with my mouse. And just like many windows, uh, I can drag that bottom corner and make that screen uh, the full size of my computer screen. The webinar will load and it may take a few moments to load and what you'll do is is you'll then be able to see some of the chat windows. It does say I'm in review mode which is correct. This will not change so just disregard this message. It just says that I'm reviewing the content. So as the training goes through and plays here you will see uh, the video of me doing the presentation. There is also audio which I've muted just for the purposes of our training video. 
and then you'll watch the slides advance as I go through the training. Now some of our hospital teams watch as a group and then need to go back and take the test. So you'll need individual logins in order to take the test. So let's say you watched as a group and it was the manager who logged in. Um, you will need to play just a few seconds of the webinar in order to satisfy that prerequisite. So let's pretend that I watched as a group so I'm not gonna rewatch the whole hour presentation. I'm just gonna go ahead and close out that window and you'll see now that I am able, the test unlocked and I'm able to open that. So when I go through, uh, it will load another window to take the test. And it has an instruction slide here. There is a 70% score required to pass the test. And so I've read my instructions here. I've also included my uh, email and phone number here in case you have questions. And we're done with the instructions, so I'm gonna click down here on the play button, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the test. So what you'll do is just go through and click on your answers. So I'm just going to click, and there's 10 questions to each test. And you'll see here from my quiz score that I scored a 90 out of 100. There is a passing score of 70 required, so I have successfully taken the test. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and close this window. And you'll see now that my CE certificate has illuminated to green, and it was locked previously now, says open. And I can click, and that will then open a new window with my CE certificate and again I can either print or download this onto my computer and if I close out of that it takes me back to the my training tab and that will show me other courses in my curriculum as well so thanks for watching my video if you have any questions please call or email I'm happy to help